Alrighty, 2020 is finally nearing its end. It's been an absolute howler of a year, but as a way to mark the end of this one and look forward to the next, we're doing my yearly roundup of the best Android apps. So each and every month I showcase 10 new Android applications, 20 alone in January in fact, and if I do my math correctly, that is a whopping total of 130 unique applications that I've featured across the year. So today I'm giving you the best 20, my favorites out of all of the apps that I've featured this year. And as always, I'm gonna let you know throughout the video which ones I'm still using to this day. One final little bonus worth mentioning, after I developed this list of my 20 favorites, not before I developed the list, I actually reached out to every developer where the app was either a paid one or where there were paid upgrades available within the app. And I asked them whether or not they'd be interested in giving me some promo codes to give away to you guys as a celebration of another year of top Android app videos. And to my surprise, a lot of the developers came through and we've got several of the apps on this list today on board and I'll share which apps have promo codes available throughout as well as how you can go about claiming them at the back end of the video though spoiler alert as always it has something to do with my Instagram page but without further ado here are my top 20 apps for 2020 so the first app that I featured right at the start of this year was a to-do list and reminders application called Memorigi. And let me tell you, I still use this app every single day. The design is fantastic and there are a bunch of helpful tools included throughout, but for setting reminders, which is what I use it for, this app is the best. We've got 20 promo codes available for three months of the premium version of this app, but keep an eye out for some big changes coming to the app in early 2021, which I think are gonna blow your socks off. Now, Fingerface is an app that is really only useful for those that own a rooted Pixel 4 device, but I used it on my Pixel 4 XL right up until the end, and it was honestly a big contributor that allowed me to enjoy using my Pixel 4 XL as much as I did. The module essentially tricks any app that's on your rooted Pixel 4 that allows for fingerprint authentication into thinking that your Pixel 4 has a fingerprint sensor, but then it uses Face Unlock instead. It's seriously an app that will vastly improve the experience of using any Pixel 4 device. Around Sound is an app that I no longer use anymore, but only because I so rarely use the audio recorder functionality on my phone. But what I really liked about this app is just one little feature that allows you to place a recording toggle within your phone's quick settings menu, which means within a couple of taps, you can be recording whatever is happening around you. Simple, but effective. Now I had Betamaniac installed on my phone for a large portion of this year. I'm not really sure why it's not currently installed, but if you haven't heard of it, it is an application that lets you track the various beta programs for the apps installed on your phone. Some of the best features within apps are only available within the beta versions for quite some time. So this app will send you a notification whenever an app installed on your phone opens up its own beta program, and then you can just sign right on up. Given how many phones have punch holes for the selfie cams these days, Energy Ring is perhaps even more prevalent now than when I first featured it. So you use this app to showcase your phone's battery life around your punch hole. There are customizations galore that allow you to dial in how the ring looks. And whilst the link I've got down below is a general version of the app, the developer has actually made a number of versions to support pretty much any phone you can think of. Now I love the Volume Styles app and I do still use it on any device that doesn't run stock or close to stock Android. This app lets you customize the look of your phone's volume sliders and it's got a huge range of themes to choose from depending on your style, but there are also additional customizations that really just maximize how your volume sliders work. Brightness Manager is one of two apps that I featured from the same developer. And as the name indicates, it's an app that allows you to automatically set your phone's brightness level depending on the app that is open. This can be super handy depending on the scenario and we have 20 promo codes to give away for this app as well. Diffuse is one of the best live wallpaper apps that you can get and it works by taking the album artwork of a song you are currently listening to, blurs it to hell and then displays it as a real time visualization. It's a really neat way to spice up a home screen and we have 20 promo codes for the premium version of this app as well and this lets you enable live beat syncing which means the background will move in time with your music. Now I don't use Super Status Bar anymore but its functionality has always impressed me and for those who love to customize the way that you use your phone, well this app is definitely worth a try. So this app allows you to change up the look of your status bar with a huge range of custom theming options and presets available to choose from. And you can also set up custom gestures, including my favorite, dragging along the status bar to change your phone's brightness or volume level. Super cool. 
Rotation Manager is the second of the two apps I featured from the same developer of the Brightness Manager application. And this app is essentially the exact same thing, but for rotation instead. For me, I prefer my phone always being set to portrait mode, except for when I'm using Google Photos. So I do still use this app very regularly on my phone for that exact purpose. And it's completely free. Now, another incredible app that I didn't feature this year, but it is actually today's video sponsor is Widgery. So Widgery is a fantastic little app that lets you create widgets from any web page. You can load as many of these widgets as you want onto your phone's home screen, and this will provide you with live and scrollable previews of your favorite web pages. The process of setting up the widgets couldn't be easier. You simply share the page you'd like from your browser of choice to the Widgery app, and it will load it up for you. Then find the Widgery app in your phone's widget menu, drag it to your home screen, resize it to suit your needs, and there you go. It really is the best way to get a quick glance of your favorite news, blogs, or tweets right from your phone's home screen. And what's incredible is that the app itself is free. So if this sounds like an app that you wanna try out, then make sure that you check it out using the first link down in the description below. Now, I haven't made a home screen customization video in a little while. And for those who missed those videos in particular, well, just download TruePix and I'm positive that that will satisfy your customization cravings. This app is essentially designed to showcase really awesome home screen setups. But by far and away, the best part of the app is that all of the information you need to load the setups onto your own devices, well, they're right there. And if you click on them, you'll even be redirected to where you can download them. Absolutely excellent. Wavelet is an app that gives you precise equalization control over any set of headphones that you might own. But what makes this app a standout is that it remembers the settings you set up for each set of headphones and it will automatically load the right ones up whenever you plug them in. The call functionality is free, but we've got some more promo codes to give away for this app and they unlock all of the various headphone sound effects. And this just completes an already incredible app. Widgets dominated the news headlines when iOS 14 was announced all those months ago and iOS widgets, the Android app was one of the first Android apps to come along and emulate these iOS style widgets. Since then, the app has been updated regularly and you now get access to 65 iOS inspired widgets and we've got 25 promo codes to give away for this one as well. Now, TrueAmps was probably one of the most popular apps that I featured this year and for bloody good reason. Whenever you plug your phone in, it showcases these really cool animations that look fantastic. There's a heap of customization available within the settings as well, some of which you do need the premium version for, but good news, I've got 20 codes for this one as well. Foco Design is an app that I still have installed on my phone, but I use it slightly less so of late only because I got most of what I needed out of it when I first installed it. So what does it do? Well, many things, but the main of which is that it allows you to design custom Instagram story icons that can really make an Instagram page stand out. You want a reference to what they look like? Well, just go and follow me over on Instagram and you'll see them right in action. When the Dark Sky Weather app was discontinued earlier this year, Climacell was there to take over. It's a really well-designed weather application that is super smart as well, providing you with lots of detailed information, including minute by minute and street by street weather forecasts, which is mind boggling to say the least. All of the essential features are free, but if you wanna remove the ads or get access to the upgraded radar map, then hey, I've got 20 promo codes for this app as well that will give you three months of access to these premium features. So much like TrueAmps, Liquid Teardown was also an incredibly popular app with a somewhat similar custom charging animation functionality. But what makes this one unique is that it integrates the animation with a sketch up of all of the internals of your phone. Since I featured it, the app has been updated with even more devices supported, and there's now even support for a generic animation for anyone whose device isn't officially supported. And yep, you guessed it, we've got another 20 promo codes to give away for this app as well. Now, if we're talking about apps that made my jaw drop, well, ClipDrop is probably top of the pack for the year. With the app installed on both your phone and your computer, you can take a photo of any object around you on your phone and then drop that cutout onto your computer's desktop. It's copy and paste, but for real life, and it is seriously, seriously impressive. So if you're using a phone that doesn't allow for much home screen customization, well, Shortcut Maker will bring back a lot of that customization flexibility. And this is the app that I used to customize my Pixel 4a and Pixel 5 home screens. 
So you can set up virtually any sort of custom made shortcut widget that you can think of, but then you can also really customize how the icons of these shortcuts look. So you can use third party icon packs or you can adjust the icon size and there's a heap of other customizations as well. But the best part of all is that it's completely free to use, no restrictions whatsoever. And finally, one of the most expensive items that I featured all year, but well worth it in my opinion, was the Filmic Remote application. And if you're someone who uses the Filmic Pro app to capture videos on your phone, well this app allows you to wirelessly control that application from another phone. Now, as I said, when I originally featured this app, for all of the features that it gives you, you'd normally be paying upwards of $1,000. And so whilst it might be slightly more premium than your average app, it's honestly well worth every single cent. But that is it. Those were my favorite 20 applications that I showcased throughout the year of 2020. And as I said, we've got a lot of promo codes to give away, 140 in fact, if my calculations are correct. And so for those who are interested, here is how it's gonna work. Firstly, I'm gonna be releasing 15 of each participating app's promo codes in batches over the next two to three weeks. These are gonna be released at random times throughout the day to account for all of the different time zones. So you wanna be following me over there and have story notifications turned on to have the best chance at claiming one of those codes. So that leaves five codes per app to give away. And for these codes, I'm gonna be releasing them slightly differently. So when this video first went live, there would have been a corresponding post that went public on my Instagram page at about the same time with all of the giveaway instructions included. So to answer the giveaway for the remaining codes, all you have to do is one, follow me on Instagram and two, comment on that post saying which app you'd like a promo code for and letting me know what you plan to use the app for. In a few weeks time, I'll go through every single comment and pick the winners at random, at which point you'll get a DM from me with the code. So make sure that you follow me over on Instagram to have the best chance at claiming one of the many codes on offer. But aside from that, you can check out all of the links to all of the apps that I mentioned throughout today's video, including today's sponsor, Widgery, down in the description below. All right, that's actually it now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.